let's now learn what is Hall effect okay let's just say I have a semiconductor wafer over here let's just assume this is a P type semiconductor okay now if we have a current flowing through the semiconductor like this okay let's just say I have this connected to a battery okay and due to which your current is flowing along this direction okay now if I keep this semiconductor in which the current is flowing like this in a magnetic field which is oriented in this direction okay so let's say my magnetic field is like this okay then what I would notice is a potential difference develops across your this and the other surface which is on the other side okay the surface which is opposite to this so if you were to connect a voltmeter between these two faces of your semiconductor then you are going to see a reading indicating that a potential difference has developed between this face and the face on the other side of this semiconductor this effect or this development of potential difference when a semiconductor carrying current is placed in a magnetic field is known as your Hall effect okay in general if you are going to have let's say your current which is flowing in the X direction okay if you have your magnetic field in the y direction then a potential difference is going to develop along z direction okay so we know whenever we have potential difference then it inherently means a electric field okay so if you are going to have a current flowing in x direction and you have your magnetic field in the z direction then in the y direction you are going to have a electric field okay I'm just talking about the y direction without concerning about which way it points okay so a potential difference is going to develop along y but electric field could be like this or like this okay so that depends on the Lorentz force that is acting on your charge carriers okay so just see what's happening over here we have assumed this is a P type semiconductor right so my majority charge carriers are my holes okay so if current is going like this essentially my holes are going like this right now due to the Lorentz force because of this magnetic field this hole is going to get deflected so instead of going straight like this it's gonna get deflect and it's gonna get accumulated on this surface of your silicon okay so since your holes tend to accumulate on this surface this surface as has a higher potential as compared to this guy okay therefore what happens is a potential difference develops and this voltage which is the difference between this surface and the surface opposite to it is known as your Hall voltage okay so what you see is development of Hall voltage due to a silicon or a semiconductor or in general any conductor carrying a current and which is kept in magnetic field perpendicular to the direction of the current okay so this phenomenon is applicable to not just semiconductors but any type of a conductor okay so just realize since we are talking about a P type semiconductor over here we are seeing that holes are going to get accumulated over here holes are your positive charges right so we are having a higher potential across this